Hello everyone and welcome back to the final episode of our no buy challenge. This is it. This is the finale. I am so excited. We still have 10 days left to play. So let's try and make as much money as possible in these 10 days. I'm going to start by harvesting all of our winter forage and then turning this back into seeds, of course. Actually, can I plant them? I think I can plant today and tomorrow. They take seven days, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, seven days. So we have like two more days of planting still. And then that will be it for the winter forageables. I feel like we've done pretty well with forageables though this season. I think we'll be able to make a lot of tea saplings. Someone in the comments let me know that I royally messed up when I didn't complete Linus's quest. Because apparently with the community cleanup quest, you actually get fiber seeds. Which would have given us a lot of fiber, which we obviously need now that we need to make loads of tea saplings. So that was a big mess up on my part. I'm actually really sad that we didn't manage to complete the community cleanup, but that is a thing of the past. So we can't dwell on it. We just need to try and grind fiber other ways, which is mostly mining. Okay, we got salmon berries and spice berries from the caves today. I don't think the salmon berries will sell for much in the kegs, but I will save the spice berries for them. You can also put everything else away. We have 200. 30 winter seeds right now pretty good we also have some mail let me check this real quick oh clint sent us algae soup thanks clint pretty useless to us but thank you anything else interesting oh yeah we completed robin's quest so we got ourselves a stone chest thank you robin i don't think we can sell that totally useless to us Okay, I'm refilling all the jars and the kegs as well, as usual. Y'all know the drill by now. As soon as they're finished, we refill them again. So I would like to have a little check-in on how we're doing with wood and also fiber, because I think that's what we're going to be needing to grind a lot of. So in terms of wood, we have just over a thousand. However, fiber is dangerously low right now. We only have 150. So I think we might spend today grinding some fiber. I'm also going to put on some golden bars as well, because... Every little helps towards this final goal of a million gold. And each of these gold bars do sell for 250 gold. So that's not too bad. I think we're going to head up to the mines today and try and get more fiber. Going to be a grind. Pet my kitty and let's go. We're going to do a lot of floor 80 resets today and just get as much fiber as possible. And any other cool resources we can get to like gems and stuff. We'll obviously grab that. We're having a really good mines run today. It is pretty late already, but we've gotten 246 fiber so far. And we've had a bunch of gems too. So we're having a very good run. Oh, we got a secret note. And it's just telling us to look in bins. You don't think we've already been doing that? Honestly, game. We've been doing that a lot. <laughs> we are literally wearing a trash can on our head. We ain't too proud to look in bins. Oh, what an amazing last floor before it turns midnight. Yo, so much fiber on here. That is a good send off for day one of the episode. Thanks game. And the cruelest thing of all, we've literally gotten like 16 mix seeds today. I swear when we were hunting for mix seeds, we never had a day that good. It's so painful that it's all happening now when literally we just want to delete the mix seeds. <laughs> I filled my inventory with stuff from the chests and we're gonna run home now. I need to get everything back to the farm from all of the chests at some point because I don't really want to be running around on the last day stressed trying to get everything done. So I have to do it little and often throughout this video. I'm stressed actually. We only have like nine days left of this challenge. It all comes down to these final few days now. And we have over 420 pieces of fiber now, so that is pretty good. We can get a lot of fiber in a day if we really need to grind for it. For each tea sapling, we need so much fiber. And wood too. Oh, it's gonna be a grindy episode for the final one. Okay, day two, and it's a good luck day. So probably another mining day. I'll start with all my little chores that we have to do around the farm, of course. And we can make more seed packets. I just turn everything straight into seed packets, I think. Although maybe I shouldn't be doing that because we've got loads already in our chest and we're probably going to have leftover stuff so maybe I should start filling kegs with crystal fruit. We do have a lot of crystal fruit. I don't know. I think kegged crystal fruit is actually quite good. Like it gives you a lot of money. I should check actually. So crystal fruit wine sells for 450 gold. That's really good. 
Because if you think about that compared to like a tea sapling, a tea sapling uses so many more ingredients and that sells for 500 gold, whereas just one crystal fruit in a keg sells for 450. That's very profitable for us, so maybe we should start putting crystal fruits into the kegs already. I think we should. I vote for that. Oh my god, what a full cave today. <gasps> it's finally starting to give us things. We got cherries and apricots. Let's go. And we've got loads more forage to harvest here. So much so that my inventory is actually full. <laughs> what a good day on the farm. Look how many snow yams we have here, by the way. Snow yams were the one we were lacking, I think. So many to harvest from these seeds. Wow. 14 snow yams from all of those seeds. And tomorrow is the last day that we can replant seeds as well. So I'll get these ones planted. Oh, Caroline sent us a potato. Thanks, Caroline. Any crops that we get sent is always helpful because I can put those into jars. Oh, we have more forage down here as well. And I can get replanting already. I actually need to remember that wine takes like six days sometimes. So I need to make sure that I don't put anything in kegs that will take longer than the time we have left. I probably should have put crystal fruits in the last lot of kegs, actually. Okay, they're all replanted. How long do these kegs have left? They have six days, so they're the final ones from here. And these have four days. Oh no, we actually might not have time to put any crystal fruit in kegs. That's heartbreaking. Why didn't I think of that yesterday? Oh, <laughs> it does seem like we've kind of missed a trick there with crystal fruit wine. But hey, if you're doing this challenge, maybe save some crystal fruits for your kegs. You've been warned, don't do a lil. And we are back at the mines to keep on grinding fiber. And it is a good luck day, so I'm hoping for some good gems too. We've got our first diamond of the day. I'm hoping for many more. Oh, it's getting late. I'm just going to grab this ruby real quick. Let me eat this algae. It's unfortunate, but we need space in our inventory. I also have a secret note. We don't have the desert unlocked and we can't use the bus. So that secret note is useless to us. Let's finish the night by grabbing this ruby though. We did really well on this mines run, I think. We got a bunch of gems and we also managed to get 225 more fiber. So we're up to around 600 fiber now. Tomorrow I can start making tea saplings because we won't be able to plant any more of the seeds. So we can start to get an idea of how much wood and fiber we still need for all of the forage. Because we'll start working through the winter seed stock that we have tomorrow. But we did manage to get a whole bunch of gems which obviously sell for our new and improved price after getting the profession. So they're going to sell for a bunch which is great. Very happy to have more of them especially diamonds they sell for almost a grand each that's so good <laughs> and yeah almost 650 fiber it's a good start right and let's run to bed Ooh, and we have a recipe on the tv today let's see pumpkin pie Ooh, definitely never gonna make it but it sounds delicious we don't even have any pumpkins and we have some gold bars and we have mail as well robin wants 10 pieces of hardwood yeah, dream on babes. Dream on bestie. We do not have access to hardwood. <laughs> so today is the final day of planting seeds. So these will be the final ones that we get to plant. And they're going in the ground right now. It's the final winter seeds. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I hope I don't get DMCA'd for that. So that's it. That is the end of all of the seeds. We have done as much as we can now. We can start to make more tea saplings with the winter seeds that we have now. So let's see how many we can make and how much fiber and wood we're going to have to gather after this is this going to use all the seeds i think it might okay yeah we used all the seeds we now only have 36 fiber left so we definitely need to get a lot more of that and a lot more wood i think too oh my god we've got our work cut out for us but that is 122 more tea saplings to go in our collection and all of these will be harvestable at some point in the next coming days and they'll all be turned into tea saplings too we're definitely gonna get over a thousand tea saplings for the challenge i think which does mean over 500,000 from tea saplings i don't know if it will be enough though i really really don't. I think today, since it's a bad luck day, I'm going to spend some time chopping wood. I think that's a good use of our time. And then probably the next good luck day, we'll be off to the mines again to get more fiber. I'm sorry that the last episode is literally just going to be a fiber grind, but I think it's going to have to be that way. Let's chop all of this wood for now though. We'll worry about fiber another day. 
Okay, that is all the trees from this area gone. And also all my energy gone too. We've managed to get 284 more wood. We're going to need a lot more than that though. So I think I'm going to work my way around the map today, just getting any extra wood we can. Today is a wood day and tomorrow can be a fiber day and we'll just take it in turns. None of these have grown in because obviously trees stop growing in the winter, which means there's no wood up here for us. Oh my god, that's painful. There's going to be such few trees to chop, I think. As we work our way around the map, I don't think there's going to be much for us to get. Ruh row. I also do just want to check, since I'm here, that we can get into the Adventurers Guild. Okay, phew. Because we obviously are going to sell all of our weapons on the last day as well. But imagine if we went to go and sell them and we couldn't get in. That would be so annoying. We'd have to quickly kill 10 slimes or something. So worth checking preemptively. No trees have spawned on the quarry, unfortunately. There is an amethyst there though, so I'll have to come back for her one day. Give me wood, Pelican Town, please. Oh, whilst I'm up here, I might take a couple things from the chests as well. We need to work on bringing some of this back. The fact that there is just no trees on the whole map physically pains me. Not to be dramatic or anything. This is just gonna be hard. Oh, and we do have a quest item. Let's check if that's worth doing. Oh, the wizard wants a mushroom. Absolutely. 750 gold. Heck yeah to that. I'm gonna quickly run home and grab it. So that will be a whopping 500 profit on a purple mushroom. Definitely worthwhile. Thanks, Rasmodius. See, this is why Rasmodius will forever be Daddy Rasmodius, you know? He comes in clutch. He's absolutely brilliant. And again, a quest when the merchant's here. I don't understand the timing. It happens every Rasmodius quest, I swear. Here you go, Rasmodius. Give me my money, punk. 750 gold. Heck yeah, baby. We're almost over 30k now. We are edging closer and closer to that 30k. Oh my god, look how sad this is. All the trees that will never grow. I put so much work into planting those. And now they'll never get to grow into a big tree. They'll forever stay a seed. But in our hearts, each one of them will flourish as beautiful trees. <laughs> Why am I making this so deep? <laughs> I've been collecting wood for too long, okay? I'm starting to speak in nonsense. And since we have a little bit of time left, I'm actually going to run and try and grab some of the fish from the fishing chest over at the mountain lake. Because I know we've got a load up there, so I'm going to bring a whole inventory worth back with us so we don't have to worry about it on the final day. When there'll be a big scram to sell everything. I'm going to preemptively help future Lil and get some of it now. Okay, that's a full inventory of fish. We would absolutely Dink right now. Some of these fish have been sat in that chest for like an entire year. Gross. But hey, if it makes us money, we don't care, right? That is the moral of this challenge. Do anything for the gold. We just want that cash money and we don't care how we get it. Oh, all of our jars are done as well. I'll quickly grab all these and refill them with yet more corn. I think these take like two days to finish. We can have a couple more refills of these. But the kegs, I think, are done now. Oh, they take three days. Okay, that's good to know. I honestly don't think the kegs were really worth it. The jars were so much better. <laughs> Other than like the star fruit wine that we got a single one of, the jars were just infinitely better. Much to think about if I was to do this again. Honestly, if I was to do this again, I would do things so differently. And lucky for us, it's another good luck day, which means a mind day. Oh, and I put a gold bar <laughs> on the sign, which I guess could symbolize that we're going to get a lot of gold. Maybe that's what that means. That was an accident. <laughs> Let's do our farm chores and then we'll head off to get more fiber. Everyone's favorite activity. Yay! It's okay. We have very few days left to go. Oh my god, literally like six days. That's wild. And interestingly, the tea saplings don't produce in winter, which is annoying. We don't get any new tea leaves, but we will have a new weekly request board, so I might run down and see what that is because if it's anything mining related we might be able to easily do it whilst we're getting fiber and sometimes they give like thousands of monies so i think it's worth checking we don't have a daily request board but we should have a new weekly one and let's check these bins whilst we're here too Oh my god, a rhubarb pie that sells for 400 gold. That's amazing. And what is it today? Ooh. Okay, well, we definitely can't do the hard word, but the Rasmodius one we can potentially do. Ghosts are kind of annoying to get though, because they're not on floor 80. What do we get from this though? Is it worth our time? Okay, it will give us 2,500 if we manage to complete it. So I definitely think we should try. 
2,500 is pretty good. Oh, we've managed to find an infested floor. So we could just reset floor 61 over and over again and hopefully get a ghost there. That seems like a big brain idea. Ghosty, please. Here we go. Here's where it's at. Give us the ectoplasm. Okay, first ghost down, no ectoplasm. That's a shame, but we move, we move. Oh, it was a ghost fish. I thought that was the ectoplasm. <laughs> it tricked me. What a little trickster that ghost was. We've killed quite a few now and we're still not getting one. Another ghost fish, but there it is. The ectoplasm. Let's go. I was truly just about to give up as well. I think I'll take that to him tomorrow and we'll keep grinding fiber today because I don't want to waste this good luck day, you know. Okay, we literally have so much good stuff that I want to bring home with us. But we literally can't bring it all. <laughs> Got so much good stuff though. I want to bring this all home with us eventually and we will. But for now it has to just wait there. We need to do another trip to the mines and bring everything back. We did get the ectoplasm which is amazing. Tomorrow we can go and deliver that to the wizard and get our 2,500 gold from him. But for now let's head off to bed. Yeah an early night for us actually. 1am. That's pretty early for us. And it's a bad luck day, which means a good day for transporting all of our stuff from the mines. And oh my god, we've got a lot of forage to harvest. <laughs> Let's grab all of this. It's unfortunate we won't be able to replant it now, but we can make it all into seeds. For tea saplings, of course. There is so much. Holy butts, how many seeds will this all make? Let's add this to all of the ones that we have in the chest as well. And let's see how many we can make. Yo, that's 530 winter seeds. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of winter seeds. I'm not gonna lie. Let's use all of our fiber and wood and make loads of tea saplings. We're not gonna be able to make that many though because we only have 176 fiber. Yeah, we could only make 35. We are running dangerously low on fiber and we only have five days left. We need to get so much more fiber if we wanna make all of these into tea saplings. Over 900 tea saplings though. It's looking good. Just the fiber that we're missing really. And wood kind of, but we've got all of this wood that we can break down on the side here. So I'm not too concerned about the wood. Let's take the ectoplasm over to Rasmodius and then I think we need to go and grind more fiber. It's getting down to the last few days now. Hello daddy Rasmodius, open up. We've got your ectoplasm. Yay! And that is 2,500 gold, baby. We're over 30k now just from quests alone. I'm pretty chuffed with that. Up to the mines to grind all the fiber we can. We're getting an early start today because we didn't really have many farm chores. Okay, I think I might stop there for today. I want to be able to take some of this stuff home. I don't want to risk losing it. It kind of scares me at being out on the floor like that. Yeah, I'm going to try and bring all this stuff back. And then we'll do a couple trips tonight of stuff from the chests. We also found a secret note, which is a diggable spot up near the train station. And I believe it gives us like an ancient doll or some kind of strange doll or something. And I think I can sell that for a thousand, maybe if my memory serves me right. So I'm gonna go and try and dig that up as well, but I need my hoe for that. So yeah, I think it's up here. I believe this is the spot. Oh my gosh, it's even better. It's a treasure chest that sells for 5,000. That's way better than those strange dolls. We get 5k from that. That was definitely worth going to check out. <laughs> I forgot about that secret note. That was such a good secret note for us to get, honestly. A bloomin' treasure chest. Probably the best item for us to find in game. Okay, we've got another inventory full of stuff to bring back. We're literally just gonna have to do this several times over. It's getting late, so I think this is the final round of stuff that we can bring back tonight. We still have probably like three inventory worth of stuff over at the mines. And then we also have that fishing chest at the mountain lake too. It's so hard doing with one strip of inventory. This definitely is one of the suckiest parts of the run for sure. The inventory management has been hard and we only managed to get just shy of 200 fiber as well. I'm gonna make as many tea sets things I can again with all of these ingredients and we're gonna run out of fiber again I just know it there it is we only managed to make 38 more we need so much fiber and wood uh oh <laughs> we can do this I believe in us we've gotten this far all right 
951 tea saplings. Okay, let's head to bed and tomorrow we'll probably be more fiber collecting, I bet. And it is another good luck day, so the day is blessing us with fiber, I think. We'll check our mail. Oh, we got the mini obelisk. I don't think we can sell that. I think we checked that already. Pretty sure that's not sellable. Oh, and dad wrote us a letter, but he didn't include any money. So screw you, dad. <laughs> Tomorrow it's the feast of the winter star and we got Elliot. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I don't think there's anything we can get that would make it worth losing an entire day for. Like an entire day of like grinding in the mines or chopping wood or something. I don't think it would be worth going. So sorry, Elliot, but you're going giftless this year. I mean it fits. He's probably been a bad bad boy. Let's do all of our farm chores quickly and then we'll run off to the mines. Okay we've got loads in our cave again but we can't put any of it in the kegs so we'll just have to sell it straight up which isn't as profitable unfortunately but still better than an empty cave. Okay let's head up to the mines now. I'll pet my kitty for good luck of course. And let's get some fiber. Let's see what this good luck day brings us. Oh my god, we've got yet another yeti tooth. I think that's our fourth one. That's a lot. Why do we keep getting so many of those? We're gonna have so many weapons to sell. Literally, we have four. Four yetis tooth. In what world would we need that many? Oh my god, another yeti tooth? Five now. Five. We should have had an on-screen counter. As if we found five of those. Well... At least they're a pretty good sword. So far, we've managed to get a whopping eight rubies. What? I don't know what's happening today, but the rubies have been very plentiful. Honestly, the gems in general have been really good. We love a good gem day. And we've managed to get over 300 fiber, which is the most we've managed to get in a single day so far. So I'd say this has been a very successful mine strip. Only problem being we've gotten so many things again that we can't bring it all home. This is always an issue. Like choosing what to prioritize is so difficult. Okay, let's run home. Got so much stuff in our chests. Oh my gosh. At least we can make a bunch more tea saplings now though with all this extra fiber. Oh, and we actually have stuff to harvest down here too. I guess I'll grab that in the morning. It's not like we can replant them now anyway, so it can wait there. I do want to see how many tea saplings we can make though. Let's see if our hard work has paid off. 64. Okay, well, that's all of the fiber gone now. We're gonna need so much fiber. We literally had 300 and it's only made like 64. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's go to sleep and worry about that tomorrow. Well, now it's tomorrow and it is officially Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> I love that it's actually Christmas season in real life too. It feels really coherent, you know? It is also a bad luck day, so perfect for farm chores, chopping wood, and also just moving things from chests. I think that's what we'll probably work on today. I can also put our tea saplings away. <gasps> oh my god, we've hit over a thousand. Yo, we got a thousand and fifteen tea saplings now. We're into the thousands, everyone. That's amazing. We just need to grind more fiber now. Let's grab all of these. And can I put one more set of jars on? I think I can. Let me just check how long pickled corn takes because it would be so annoying if we couldn't get it in time. I actually can't find how long it takes in a jar. I think it's less than three days though. So let's just try it. I mean, I can place one and see. Okay, trial corn. Two days and 13 hours. Okay, this will be our final batch then. Oh, I feel quite sad. I feel emotional that this is all coming to an end. I've loved this challenge. I really have. And we've got all these wines to harvest too, but we can't put more on, unfortunately. I wish these would have been crystal fruit. God, I'm so sad that these aren't crystal fruit wine. That would be so much more profitable. They would have sold for 450 each instead of 120. Oh, pain okay the feast of the winter star has began but we are ignoring that we hate tradition we are gonna go and grab stuff from the mines chests instead what a fun way to spend our holidays <laughs> i wish so badly right now that we could have coffee we are so slow it's actually painful wait i have farm totems i actually might just use them to like transport stuff quicker because they barely sell for anything i think it'd be worth saving time transporting ourselves with the farm totems and running back so we can at least half our journey you know
Heck yeah, that was so much quicker. Okay, I've sorted this entire chest that has only got weapons in it. So this can all be sold at the Adventurers Guild on the final day. That's pretty satisfying. And this is all we have left to bring home. Literally, these mix seeds can stay. They sell for zero. So this is the final chest from here. That's pretty good. I just need to go and get the fishing chest now. And then we've bought everything back. It didn't take too long. Some of these things like literally sell for like five. These sell for one, so I don't really know why I bought them. But oh well, every penny counts, right? The steel Tesco's motto? I think that's Tesco. Every little helps. Okay, off to the fishing chest now. And we'll try and get everything back from there as much as we can at least. It feels nice and productive to have it all centralised at the farm. So I know where everything is and I can easily sell it on the final day. Okay, there isn't too much left here. We'll do as much as we can. Honestly, this stuff I'm not that bothered about making a second trip for. It's not that worth it. If I happen to be up here on the final day, I'll grab it. But like, this is not worth it, <laughs> I don't think. Having said that, if I'm only a few gold off of the final number being a million, I will be so sad if I didn't get those. <laughs> I'm happy to take that risk though. For the rest of the day, I think I'm just going to chop more wood on the farm because we've still got a lot of trees to gather. And any of these tappers that won't be done in time, I'll also chop those as well. I've knocked down all of the trees that won't produce anything in time. And we're now up to 729 wood. So including these trees as well, I think we're pretty sorted for wood. It's pretty much just the fiber that we really need to worry about now. I think the rest of the days we're definitely going to spend grinding fiber predominantly. But yeah, I'm just going to keep making more bars as well as we go. I can't believe this is the end. Like what? It feels so dramatic. Let's head off to bed now and tomorrow is going to be a fiber grind of course. Anything to get a little bit more fiber at this point. Because it means more tea saplings which is 500 gold a pop. And we do have mail. Gus wants fish stew? He wants an albacore. Oh, we actually have albacore. I wonder if he gives us money though. Bit risky. What if he doesn't give us money for it? Okay, let's harvest all of these. Is there any more to harvest today? There is a couple. I'll grab everything there is to harvest. Oh, there's also more wine to grab too. I think this is all of the wine now. So I can actually pick up all these kegs really carefully, hopefully. So none of them go in the water. Because I think I can sell these. I'm pretty sure. And as we say, every little helps. I will literally be selling every single item on our farm. Not to be dramatic. I want that one million, you know. Oh, we lost one. Oh, we lost two. No, <laughs> please. Oh. Okay, two were lost in the process. That's okay. That's not too bad. We can still sell 36 of them. And I'll do a little back cave check. Nothing in there today, unfortunately. Okay, I can take Gus and Albacore, but he won't be open till midday, I think. So I'll probably bring it with me to the mines and then take it this evening to the saloon because I don't want to wait around until midday for it to open. So we'll take it up with us to the mines and let's start the fiber grind. How many times have I said that in this series? I truly wonder. And well, we've ended up with a load more stuff again. <laughs> Great, I just came here for fiber, but I can't help myself pick up stuff when I see it, you know? I'm like, oh, that will sell for a couple hundred. Must have, must take. <laughs> I have no self-control. Like this amethyst, I gotta take it. Gotta be done. I truly never wanna see another piece of fiber after this challenge. I never wanna touch fiber again. Oh, I do believe we now have 10 hardwood as well as the stuff that we have at home, which means we can complete Robin's quest. I don't know how much she gives us for this, but I might check that. Let's see if she gives us anything for it. She gives us 500 gold, so I think that's worth doing actually. And what about Clint's quest as well? Gus gives us 400 gold as well for the albacore so definitely worth doing both of those quests i think almost a grand between them so it's 8 p.m now i think i'm gonna head off to go and see gus and give him his albacore i don't want to wait too late and then not have enough time so i'll take everything with me that i can so let's go and take gus his albacore i might be able to do a second trip and pick up the rest of the stuff in the chest because we got a lot of stuff today we had like mushroom levels we had loads of gems quite a good mind's day for a neutral luck day as well okay gus here you go buddy Sniff sniff, what's that? Something smells like an albacore. You bought it, thanks a million. And we got 400 gold, baby. Let's go. Okay, we need to get our other wood as well to give to Robin. That will be really good. We'll be able to get 500 gold from that. 
Yeah, we actually have 10 hardwood in total. Considering we never upgraded our axe, that's pretty good to get 11 pieces. Our chests are so full now that I can't even go back with an empty inventory. Like everything is full. <laughs> We have so much stuff to sell. This is going to be the most I've ever sold in a day. I hope it doesn't crash. Like I've never sold this many things in one Stardew day. One more full inventory of stuff. We're bringing back to the farm. And how many tea saplings can we make after all of that fiber grinding? I think it's another almost 50. And we've run out of fiber again. <laughs> oh my god, how can we end every day like this? It's so painful. 47 more tea saplings. Yay! <laughs> After we've harvested like all of these crops that are still growing, we're gonna have so many winter seeds left over. Like I don't think I'll make them into winter seeds because one winter seed sells for 30 and obviously you make 10 so that's 300 gold but then a crystal fruit by itself sells for 300 and a crocus sells for 122 and a snow yam for 200 and a winter root for 140 so we'd make less money turning them all into winter seeds. The only reason I turned so many is because I thought I could make way more tea saplings, but the fiber is a struggle. So all of these that are yet to be harvested probably won't get turned into tea saplings or winter seeds for that matter. I'll probably sell them like raw. The second last day of the series and we got stuff to harvest. I will be going mining yet again today. I'm sorry, it's probably so painful at this point. I'll harvest everything and throw it in the chest and then we'll head off to the mines probably. I can also dig up all of these sprinklers here as well as they won't be watering anything anymore. And they'll obviously be getting sold too. If I can sell them, I think I can. And now these are all done as well. I can finally knock these trees down. So more wood, although we probably can't use it for tea saplings because we'll run out of fiber. <laughs> Oh, and all of these are done too, so I can remove these sprinklers. Truly tying up the last few ends now. Oh my god. Tomorrow is selling day. Oh, huh? I can't believe it. I truly can't believe it. So today is the last day for us to grind fiber, really. Because tomorrow we're going to be too busy selling everything. So this is it. These are the last saplings that will get made. I also can't forget to take the hardwood up to Robin. And I have bought a furnace with me just to smelt some copper. It sells for five gold, so we're going to be making a lot more profit by selling it as a bar, I believe. I think the bar sells for like a hundred and then like piece of coal and five pieces of copper. I think it sells for more as a bar. So I'm just trying to squeeze any little bits of profit, really. Here you go, Robin. Yay. This wood is perfect. It's exactly what I need. Thanks. And we get 500 gold, let's go. So 33,225 is the final number we managed to make from just our request board items. I think that's quite good. We could have done more, I'm sure, but it's not bad. And let's get smelting this copper. That's something I haven't really mentioned. I have been smelting all of my ore alongside doing other farm chores and stuff because I think it sells for more when it's smelted rather than just as an ore. So I have been smelting all of that, but I haven't really mentioned every time I've done it. <gasps> a diamond? Thanks, game. I feel like that's a good sign to get a diamond on the very last day. Two diamonds, no less. We've had so many farm warp totems as well. What is that trying to tell us? Literally, we bought one, so we've gotten six today. Why? <laughs> Are they just really common all of a sudden? I feel like there must be. And with that, I think that is the final mines trip of the entire challenge we managed to get 341 pieces of fiber which is a lot i must say i'm gonna bring as much as i can back home with us i can put my sword away but we'll be back here tomorrow to sell all of these weapons so it doesn't matter that we can't bring everything back with us right now we can still bring quite a bit and i'm gonna warp home now and we can see how many tea saplings we can make tonight that will be it. That will be the end of the tea saplings. Oh, and our jars are all ready too. Let's go. Okay, we can make a grand total of... 68. Oh, one more would have been great. One more tea sapling. Come on, game. Would it have killed you to give me one more? 68 tea saplings is the final number. I don't think we'll have time to get more fiber tomorrow because we will be so busy selling everything. So I think that is the finale. We managed to get like 1,130 I think in total because the other chest has 999. There she is in all her glory. 1,130 is a lot of tea saplings. I can't lie. That's pretty good. But for now, let's head off to bed for the final time. And tomorrow is selling day. 
Okay, we can sell. It's a good luck day, which might bless us. We also get a recipe. Cranberry candy, exciting. Not that we can cook it. Okay, it's official. We can start selling everything. Let's start by destroying this fence that has served us so greatly. And I guess I'll just start here. I'm gonna sell everything on the farm and everything from the chests. <laughs> this feels really, really, really good, actually. It feels quite like, what's the word? invigorating i think very invigorating right now to smash this all up after we've worked hours on it just feels good <laughs> i feel like it must be the same as just taking like an axe to a wall or something same sort of feeling you know oh we can't sell those oh that stinks well i can sell this at least i don't even know where to begin i feel a bit overwhelmed um i guess i will just start taking things out of the chest okay first bunch of stuff let's just throw it in i guess Oh my god, I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> what if I could have made them to sell for more? Oh, I don't know. Like, I want to keep the wood just in case, but like, I don't know. Should I make things out of it? Probably not, right? Let's just do it all. It doesn't matter. We've done our best. Oh, the kegs can't sell either. Oh, that sucks. Everything else can though. Oh, it feels so weird to sell like coal like that. Like, surely that's not the best way to sell it. I'm actually feeling quite nervous. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Oh, this is weird. So weird. Goodbye. You've served me well. So I think this chest is pretty much empty except from farm totems and wood for sale. I will sell them at the end, I guess. I just, I'm clinging on to something because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so now I've clung on to that like pile of wood. I just feel like I can't separate from it. I've actually grown quite attached, I think. <laughs> okay, everything's going in. I wonder how much we've already made. Stardew's doing its little maths right now. Okay, I'm going down for the main chests now. The fish are being sold. This feels naughty to be selling things now. Y'all better not be doing the maths really quick in your head. <laughs> Imagine if someone could keep up with all this and do the maths in their head. I'd be impressed. I really would be. Okay, this chest is officially empty. Still a few more to go though. I'm now realizing I wish I'd put these chests closer to the shipping bin. <laughs> Like this walk back and forth is infuriating. <laughs> I'm so slow. Your girl needs coffee. Another chest empty. Four more to go. This does feel a little bit like a wasted good luck day. I can't lie. Onto the last chest now. Eee, it's a big one. Got all of our jams and our wines. Okay, the final chest is now finished. It's empty. It's all empty. And our main character of the whole run the tea saplings are now being sold. Oh, <laughs> we've done it. I do want to quickly grab the last of our jars over here as well, because we've got some more pickled corn to add to the pile. So I'll grab all of these. I will check our cave once more, and then we'll go and sell all of our weapons, I think. Got a couple pine tars and an oak resin to sell too. Wow, one glorious little plum. Maybe that will tip us over the one million. Who knows? Well, I am serving it to the shipping bin on a silver platter right now. <laughs> Hopefully this will tip us over. Who knows? Maybe. Selling those and off to go and sell our weapons now. Okay, Adventurers Guild, I'm coming for you. All of these Yeti tooths are going to be sold. So this will give us money immediately, but there's no other way to do it really. So I'm just going to allow myself that. This is the first selling we've actually done in the whole series. It's happening now. We are going to get this money immediately. Imagine if this already bought us over a million. That would be impossible. I actually didn't even see how much that all sold for, but like a couple thousand maybe we're up to 36k now this isn't cheating though don't worry don't worry i make the rules so this doesn't count as cheating 
right? I've got the biggest grin on my face whilst doing this, by the way. I don't know why, but it's making me so happy. I've even asked my husband to come in and watch me sell everything because I'm really proud. <laughs> okay, we can't sell slingshots or our golden hoe. So the golden hoe truly was useless. Honestly, the quarry was pretty useless. I don't even think we're going to hit 40k from all of those weapons. Weapons are truly rubbish in this game. Yeah, we made like nothing. Wasn't even really worth keeping them. Could have done with the extra chest room, really. Never mind every little help. That's been our motto the whole way through. Let's take all of this stuff home though, except these dang mix seeds that literally sell for nothing. 46 of them in the bin. <laughs> okay, it's starting to get dark in the game. This final day is coming to an end, it seems. I'm gonna finish the day by like chopping all of the trees down and gathering that last bit of wood. This truly is scraping the barrel of the last bit of money we can make from this farm, isn't it? I told y'all everything must go at the end. Oh no, I can't really chop any more trees because I've run out of energy and I sold everything so I don't have anything to eat. Oops. I could have eaten like a cave carrot, but um, I guess that's the most I can do. <laughs> Oopsie, I played myself well. I suppose on that note, I will pet my cat and I suppose we're going to go to bed. Yeah, um... I think that is the end. Let's see how much money we make. Drum roll, please. We got some sort of alert. Yay, we did it. We got 1 million. That's 1 million, right? I think that's how numbers work. I think that's 1 million, 200,000. What? Yo, look at these numbers. I just want to have a look through all of the pages of stuff. Like what got us the most here? Pumpkin juice got us quite a bit. We knew that would happen. Mead, definitely worth making all that honey then. 20,000. Yo, pickled corn managed to get us 35,000. We did sell 238 of those, <laughs> to be fair. Foraging got us quite a bit. Yo, the crystal fruit sold on their own got us 16,000. That's a lot. And maple syrup honestly got us 18. 18,000, that's pretty good. Definitely worth tapering those trees then. Yo, wild to go through all these numbers and see what got us the most. Which fish got us the most? Let's see. It's got to be sturgeons, right? Walleye got us quite a bit. Bullheads? Okay, some iridium bullheads got us quite a bit too. I don't even see sturgeon on the list. Sturgeon failed us. They only got us 3,000 gold, but that was my fault because I couldn't get them above silver quality because I suck at fishing. <laughs> Mining the diamonds. Look at them. 47k. Let's go. Diamonds really are a girl's best friend. <laughs> also, I just want to take a moment to appreciate that we got 69 rubies. Nicely done, Lil. Nicely done. And finally, Other got us a butt ton of money too. Just loads of random stuff. Some of them sold for like one gold. Some sold for zero. Thanks, Omni Geodes. Oh yeah, I never made the Geode Crusher. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now because we made a million, even without the geode crusher. Yo, 565,000. So half a million was made. Over half a million was made just from the tea saplings. That's wild. Like we would have failed the challenge without tea saplings. End of the day, tea saplings are the MVP. They are the winner. But baby, we did it. We got 1 million gold in one year without buying or selling a single thing until the final day. <laughs> but we didn't buy a single thing. Everything was crafted from our own two hands. We did it all. We are self-built for real, for real. New achievement, millionaire, let's go. We are a millionaire. But at what cost? Because look at our empty farm. Oh, hi, Kent. Uh, okay, you're ruining the moment, Kent. Let me just skip this real quick. <laughs> Bye, Kent. Well, thank you all so much for embarking on this journey to make a million with me. This was such a fun challenge. I had so much fun playing and editing and hearing all of y'all's recommendations to make more money and such. Thank you so much for all the help along the way as well. If you have any future challenge suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do more challenges like this. It was so much fun. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone!